I wanna f <coughs> you in my car. You, wait, wait, Deb, you were banned from Tinder? I was literally asking for people's like social security numbers. It was totally fine. <laughs> the moment I try to. I think they don't support women business owners. I'm Gabby. I'm Sabrina. I'm Dev. And <laughs> this is Deranged DMs. Yes, yay. <laughs> so today we have a special guest, Dev Lemons. Yay. Everyone clap. What, 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 come what, on, what, come what, on, what, come on, what, come on, what, yeah. come on, come on, come on. This is Deranged DMs and we go through your weird or um. slash deranged DMs that we, that inbox, that... <laughs> Um, you sent some weird shit and we're about to expose it on screen censored. Who is this that? This is, I don't know. I believe he's a YouTuber, a small YouTuber who's- No free clout. No free clout, especially when you're DMing me like this. He said, we gonna collab or what? Or what? Well, yeah, I got him. Oh, wait, I got his name. <laughs> <laughs> it. Now, if you're looking for a collab, this is the way to do it. Just to the point and slightly aggressive. It, it is quite aggressive. Like, you know how guys are trying to, like, find that line between, like, confident and just cocky? He just went to cocky to the point where it's just so... He just went right for the cock. Right for the chicken. Right for the cock a doodle doo <laughs> Wait, wait, so, um... Did you collab with him? No. <laughs> Hell no. <laughs> Just checking. He stayed in the request. You don't talk to a lady like this. Or anyone, really. That's just rude. Should we pull up one of Dev's? Yes, please. It's about to get deranged in here. Dev Lemons. I'd crawl through 10 miles of broken glass just to hear you shart through a 90s Nokia walkie-talkie. Didn't answer the, the next day, I believe. It was followed up with... I'd crawl through a mile of your shit just to see where it came from. <laughs> and then later that day, I received a really endearing compliment actually about my nice legs. Thank you. Now this is how you pick up a lady. It's like, it definitely made me stop in my tracks. That's for sure. And it's like, if that's kind of the goal, it's like how I react to that's a different story. It's like, did I answer this? No. Was I tempted to? Yeah. No, no, but like, no. I mean, it definitely <laughs> stopped me in my tracks, that's for sure. Oh, it stopped me and I had to document it. You weren't tempted? I'll be honest with you. Like, when you did say that, I just, <laughs> you really think so? Like, Here's the thing. I, I would like to see this person walk through, crawl through. I would love to see this person <laughs> crawl through miles and miles of broken glass. Like, that is welcome. Send a video of that. Yeah, maybe I should have responded. Maybe I can find it be like, yeah. Would you? Would you really? Okay, <laughs> would you really? meet me here and now, please. It also seems like this person has a, a poop fetish. Yeah. Like both messages. Here you shart through a 90s Nokia walkie-talkie, and then he, a mile of your shit just to see where it came from, as if he doesn't know. I said we all he know. doesn't know. <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. Next yeah. one. Next. <laughs> Sub NPC. <laughs> I love that this person called me an NPC and he doesn't even have a name. It's question mark, question mark, question mark, <laughs> user 292908. Like if anybody here is some sort of bot, it might, it might be me. It's just so funny to like call people in real life an NPC. Like I just think it's so ridiculous. It's I like it, but I don't understand it fully. Like what do you get out of calling me an NPC? <laughs> well, it sounded like they were coming up to you and pressing A. They just yeah. wanted to start a conversation. Should I respond and give him a quest? I do think yeah. you should. Or like a tutorial. To add a profile picture, click the three dots on your profile. And once he completes the tutorial, then he gets a, an item. I'm gonna give him a quest and then we'll report back on the next episode. Okay. Oh my god, Dev. I love how many you have. <laughs> oh Yay! god. Oh, this one. Oh, I love this one. <laughs> so is this from Tinder? Yeah, this is from Tinder. This is when I, before oh. I was banned. You, wait, wait, Dev, you were banned from tinder oh sabrina recently i found out i'm not banned from bumble i could have sworn i was banned okay. from bumble yeah hinge <laughs> tinder whole nine yards here i'll be the guy and then you can read your own part i want to f <coughs> you in my car i just really don't i ugh, i wish i had because there were like two screenshots of this and he kept saying oh. that too and i would just be like dude i can't drive and i went on this whole tangent about like how i didn't have my license or something but okay yeah sorry 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 wanted to wanted to um set the scene interior uh tinder Tinder day. Yes. I just really don't understand why I need to get my license. Like having a car is just so much money and maintenance. Like I really just want my mom to accept me for who I am, which is not <laughs> a car driver. Yeah. 
<laughs> and pollution too. Glad you get where I'm coming from. <laughs> Check out my music video. <laughs> it's cool. Thanks. <laughs> wait, wait, was that your actual music video? This was before I was Dev Lemons. This was like when I did this other artist project. Like, I'm pretty sure I was like trying to promote my music video for this song I had called Come Back Tonight. But as soon as I started sending people links to my music video, that's when I got banned for like spamming. Boo. Boo. I was literally asking for people's like social security numbers. It was totally fine. <laughs> the moment I try to promote myself, my work. What does that say about Tinder? I think they don't support women business owners. God, I, I don't remember which app it was but I matched with somebody who I had mutual friends with so I thought oh this person's gonna be safe we were using the vid chat feature one time and he had a dog who is uh, a long dog and so at random the dog would climb in his lap and like stand up and the app knows when something long and phallic looking is on screen and it blurs the whole screen so every time the dog <laughs> stood up the screen would get blurred <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Uh, oh boy! We've got <laughs> right. email. Yeah. Oh, just wait, because this this isn't the first or the last time we hear from this guy. Hello, Dev. I'm not sure where you live exactly, but if you are in, <laughs> then I want to take you out for dinner and maybe a walk in, at a park or something uh, simple like that. <laughs> and then gives the insta, and then a nice ending it off with sent from my iPhone. <laughs> No, isn't that so, so tender? That's how you know it's real. No, <laughs> yeah. no, no, All the important emails need to be sent from desktop. You can't risk yeah. important emails being sent from a phone. So just, no, just because like, where it. are you? Where were you when you did this? Were you on the toilet? Were you smoking mm. the Zaza? That's a really valid point, you know, because it's like, you would never think, like thinking really deeply about the connotation of sent from my iPhone. I feel like, you know, maybe we're <laughs> reading too much into this, but like, I also feel like it's very valid to say, like it, it implies that, that this dubious creature is like on the go somehow you yeah, know it's just like move. he's on the move he's not just like sitting at his desk or something like it's like he's it's almost as if he's multitasking i feel like there's a great chance that that would be the case and it's just like if i'm not your top priority if i'm not like if you're not focusing on sending this email to me and you're like sending this email while you're say on the toilet yeah say driving your car say uh at the, yeah. at the grocery store getting some um, artifacts for your inventory i how am i supposed to really trust that i would be respected in this dynamic. Yeah, I think that really tells a lot. What if he was just like sitting at a Papa John's and he was just thinking, God, Dev Lemons being here with me would just make this pizza slap so much harder. Like it would make me forget about the Papa John's racism incident if I had Dev Lemons here with me right now. I like the subject line. Can I buy you lunch? Just no punctuation. Buddy, if you really wanted to buy her lunch, then you can send her like a DoorDash digital gift card. If you really wanted to buy her lunch. Well, you even have suggestions for how to reply. You got sure, what time? Sure, sorry. I can't. Which which one would you select, Dev, if you had to pick right now? Oh my god, this is it's just like one of those games. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> choose your own adventure. I would probably I would probably pick sure because it could be taken nice. like a bunch of different ways. It's like sure or it's like sure. Sure. And here he is again. <laughs> oh, so this is an ongoing saga. Oh, okay. This might have been the first one. How many are there? I'm pretty <laughs> sure that th there's just two from this guy. I could have sworn there was a third one, but like I might have deleted it because I got scared or something. But yeah. <laughs> I oh, fuck. Hello, I'm a musician as well. I used to have a bit of music up on some platforms, but I took it down because it sounded too Mickey Mouse, if you get what I mean. I've been working on some better music the past year and we'll release them soon anyways. I think you're beautiful and I really want to take you out on a date. I'm 22, I live in Ontario, Canada. My Instagram is, you know. I've never asked a girl out through email before. It's a bit embarrassing, but when else will I run into you? Never. So I shoot my shot here. And it's like, honestly, like this one is like, it's kind of like, aw. This one's more formal. It's yeah. formal and it's like kind of sweet. It's like, well, here goes nothing. This is the start of a rom-com. Yeah, right. But like, I think this with the context of the second one is just like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> why do you know that like, I'm a <laughs> Probably just assumed, I imagine. Also sent from my iPhone. <laughs> Still on the You're go. You're sending a formal letter through your iPhone. What's going on? With this one, you can choose, where do you live? Where are you from? I would love to chat with you. <laughs> yeah, you know, Google just knows me so well. They they, yeah. they know that I would just love to engage with this, this beautiful conversation. He has a dog. <laughs> he has Instagram? Yes. <laughs> <laughs>
I know, the dog is so cute, yeah. isn't it? What does he mean by it sounded too Mickey Mouse? That's what I want to know. Did he just upload songs that were like, woohoo? <laughs> wow, <laughs> let's go, kids. Hot dog. I still know how to do Mickey's signature. Oh my god. Goodness. Your pal Mickey Mouse. Oh, because you worked at Disney. Yeah, I did Disney instead of full-time college. Instead of a degree, I got this. <laughs> oh, this is interesting. You both follow Billie Eilish. We have a common interest. That's a good sign. At four in the morning, <laughs> they sent this. Interesting. I'm so in love with Cho flavor in my ear. Yes, yes, indeed. <laughs> <laughs> like that he chose four emojis. You know he sat carefully on his phone choosing which emojis that would convey his message the best. Hard eyes to display affection. Sunglass guy to display how cool and chill he is, especially yeah. by saying Cho Flava. Then he's got <laughs> the bull. Maybe he's a Bulls fan. We have an upside down smiley face because he's confused and <laughs> awaiting your response. This guy looks like he could be your dad. Yeah. Oh, you really mean that? <laughs> <laughs> I'm guessing you get lots of declarations of love. Yeah, oh, yeah. I mean, you could, I guess you could look at it that way. <laughs> I like, it's It's kind of nice. Honestly, like when I was looking through my DMs today, I was expecting to find a lot more freaks, but like, I don't know. I was just like really surprised by how nice people were. Like everyone was just like really nice and genuine. And then there were definitely some weirdos, but like you guys are all so nice. We're changing the show name. You can change <laughs> it to aww, aww. DMs. <laughs> You know what I like about your DMs, Dev, is that a lot of these people, mostly men, they seem to <laughs> actually like listen to your music. So they're yeah, like appreciating they're you for your work. That's kind of nice. Like Except for the first guy with the legs thing. No, the yeah, he, <laughs> yeah, the poop. And I still want to see him crawl through glass, but they like your work. And it's like, okay, great. Yeah. yeah. This guy doesn't even follow you. <laughs> <laughs> he sent you a message. How much money for you to breathe on me? <laughs> All right, Dev, how much? Name a price. Uh, you know, I thought about this today. I was like, if I could name my price, what would I name it? Like, how how much do I value my own breath, my carbon monoxide? Inhale and exhale. You got to do both. You know, and yeah. that's a lot. That's a lot to expect that's from a, someone. It is. I would honestly, I'd, I'd say like uh, uh, 50. Um, okay. All right. Thousand. Oh, that could be a Mr. Beast video. Someone paid me $50,000 for me to breathe on them. At least give me the follow, you know? Okay, I have a last one to end us off. This one is, is one I get semi-often. My good mate has a crush on you, so I'm sliding into your DMs for him because he's a nervous lad. Be nice to the boy. Like he's giving me a, a dog or something. Be nice to the boy. Oh, sit. Now sit. Oh, go, oh, go, go. Oh, you, you. Boy. This entire DM, I swear to God, I have deja vu. And clearly, we've never seen this before, but I swear we've all been here. I just had to get that off my We've chest, all been but... here at some point. I love the, he's a nervous lad. Like he's, <laughs> he's from Ireland. He might be Irish. If he's in Ireland and it's 9.20 PM when I received it, that means it was past midnight. Those are horny hours, yeah. Yeah, those are horny hours. But it's just like, <laughs> it's so fun. Like I love the concept of like wingmanning for your friend, but like over Instagram. Instagram DM requests because it's just like what why like, what are you gonna do like DM him like what no you're not because his account is private so it's not like you could even yep. scope him out anyway then at least send me some images yeah. for me to, to look at like it's bumble or something vouch for him also we're across the sea what are we gonna do at least give you some coordinates or something like I don't <laughs> latitude and longitude please let us know what other creators you'd like us to have on on DMs. Wow, thanks so much for having me on. Yes. I love this series. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Thanks, Dev. Yes, anytime. Listen, I'll I'll keep an eye out for them. And as I get more, who knows? Maybe we'll, <laughs> yeah. we'll have you come back. You can have them. So this Vessi sponsorship kind of came right on time. California is just getting absolutely dumped on by all the rain this last week, and none of my shoes are waterproof. Okay, so here's the deal. The pups still need to go out rain or shine, so I thought, f*** it, let's just test how waterproof these really are. Personally, I just thought they were pretty cute, um, so I asked about the black ones and these white ones. Cute, right? 
And as you can see, they're holding up pretty, pretty good. Look, I'm even splashing around in these dirty puddles and everything is just sliding off. I'll probably keep wearing these even when the rain inevitably does stop here in California. Maybe I'll take them hiking or somewhere fun like that, somewhere outdoorsy. But overall, very impressed and very dry. Rain or shine, I do highly recommend Vessi. Check out the Vessi Stormburst and other styles at Vessi.com slash Abelina. Get your Vessi sneaker and size you want now using promo code Abelina for 15% off your entire order. That's Vessi.com slash Abelina. Thank you, Vessi, for sponsoring this video.